Hey gorgeous star signs, welcome to my channel. This is TC, your guiding chariot. Uh, this, or I should say, welcome to the round of November readings. These are going to be for all the signs, uh, sun, moon, and rising. Going to be an interesting November. We've got lots of things going on in Scorpio. Um, I'm filming this on the 31st of October, so happy Halloween, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It'll probably be November 1st when all of these go up. Um, so I hope you had a great Halloween. Um, but this is also the day Mercury goes retrograde in Scorpio. We have Venus in Scorpio. Um, Mars joins Venus in Scorpio later on in November. So lots of things going on in this house. So it would be you know, very wise to know where Scorpio is for you, where it is in your chart. Because um, wherever that is, there's a whole bunch of transformation, a whole bunch of growth and changes going on. Um, as I've been filming some of the videos so far, some of the readings, there's a lot of growth and a lot of level up and a lot of new beginnings for everyone. So amazing readings. I hope you enjoy yours. As always, these are general, so take them how they resonate. Don't try to force any of the messages. Um, you may resonate with all the decks. You may resonate with one of them. Just take what applies. Leave the rest on the table. Um, it's all good. Um, and as always, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to join our little family. Um, just supports the channel. I'm glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Let's get into your reading. Hey Aries, welcome to your November spirit message reading. This is TC, your guiding chariot. This is going to be for Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Let's get into your reading. All right, spirit, what is going on for Aries in the month of November? Aries, I hope your month has been amazing. Well, for October. So far, the readings in November have been crazy. I think this month has been... I try to keep these readings to like 15 minutes. They, these have all been like almost half an hour. So, there we go. Lots going on in November. So I'm excited to see what comes through for you. Okay, we're going to take these two. Nice. All right. So two inners. Look at that. You got inner calling and inner child. Inner calling actually has come up for, I think you're like the third sign so far that's gotten inner calling. Like there is a lot of, and I mean, it kind of makes sense that these inner cards have been popping up a lot. We are going into Mercury retrograde. I'm filming this on the 30th, so it happens tomorrow. So we'll already be in full retrograde by the time this gets posted. So, whew, brace yourselves. Um, but again, Mercury Retrograde is just a time of introspection, reflection, reviewing, um, maybe for some of us re-editing re things and making adjustments. Uh, but for you guys, especially with Inner Child coming out, I think you guys, a lot of you, I think are going to end up simplifying this month. I mean, yes, we have inner calling, so finding purpose, drive, motivations, because um, a lot of that may be shifting. You know, you might have just been pursuing growth, advancement, you know, the, you know, society, I should be having a better job. I need to keep getting the promotion and go to the next and go to the next and go to the next. I feel like you kind of get a moment looking at these cards. You kind of get a moment this month where you kind of like pause, look around, and kind of have like a how did I get here moment. Right? And I'm not saying like you've, you've followed the wrong path. Like I've, that's not what I'm saying at all. But it's kind of like the, is this what I wanted to be doing? Like I started out here and I just wanted to be better and better and better and better. And again, then you look around, it's like the stuff I want to do, like the stuff that like really excites me, am I still doing that? Maybe like 60% of your day you're doing it, but then this other 40%, like is this, is this re really where I'm meant to be? For some of you, it might even be less. Maybe 30% of what you do is the part you actually love. And then you're just kind of getting by. You're tolerating the 70. Like, like this feels like a moment where you get to kind of connect back to that little kid inside of you. The part of you that gets excited about things and gets lit up and gets real passionate and, you know, is really engaged with certain aspects. And it's kind of like you're checking in with yourself again and be like, is this where I thought I'd be? Was this where I saw myself heading? Was this the arrival point? Hmm. That feel, this feels interesting, but it feels really positive. Like, I feel really happy about that. Oh, OK. 
anything. Okay, we got one. We're gonna we're gonna pull more than that. But yeah, this just feels it doesn't feel like a huge shift. Like I don't wanna say you guys are on the wrong path, but it just feels like a little just, it's like we're gonna we're just gonna nudge you a little a little over this way. You know, because you wanted to go down the center path and maybe you went down the right, you know, the right hallway versus the middle one. And we're just gonna we're just gonna push you back. All right, so we got three here. So this bad boy that flipped over, surrender, yes. So, you know, handing a, handing a little over. We've maybe taken too much control or we've forced too many things. And again, not a necessarily bad thing. Yeah! <laughs> Love this card. This card has popped up in a couple of readings as well. So surrender, so yes. Trusting you're being guided in the right way, trusting your intuition. To me, the surrender card is a lot of trust. You know, like you may be thinking, you know, maybe an opportunity comes up and you're like, oh, do I really want to take that? Should I take it? You know, may, there may even be some of you who find an opportunity and it maybe even feel like a step back. You know, like you're at, like, let's, let's say it's a work thing and let's say there's an opportunity that opens up, you know, maybe in another region or... I don't know, maybe in like another territory and it maybe it's like, oh, but I don't want to live there. Or I don't want to move there. Or it may even be like an open opportunity, but it's, it's like a, a level down. Like you have to like take a little demotion, but like it's the perfect job for you or it's in a place you want. Like maybe you wanted to go to this, move to this area, you know, but the only open thing there like is a, is a level down, you know, the surrender is like, if you're being guided to this opportunity, you know, you may just have to like exercise some trust and be like, okay. I, like, this is going to get me closer, you know, it's not my forever, it's a for now, like, you know, whatever, whatever the narrative is, because here you are with a new beginning, this is a gateway you're about to walk through, so November may present this new opportunity, that again, and I love how they did this card, because I'm sure all of you know that phrase, you know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side, here it is, look how green that grass is, compared to where we're standing in the perspective of this card, that grass is green as fuck, like, <laughs> and then look, and then you have the action card. And like, you know, look how like lively this like dancer pose, like this leap, right? You could even say that there's a, there's a bit of a leap of faith here. You know, this person's just kind of like jumping out into the void. Like literally she's just like legit leaping. But again, we're taking some action. So surrendering to, to the divine plan, trusting that this new doorway is leading you to something greater, something bigger. And again, leaping. We also have a full moon here. So the full moon, a little crescent moon going on in there. But this full moon coming up in November might be a big significant thing for you as well. I'm trying to think what... I want to say this full moon coming up in November. I want to say it's in Taurus, if I remember correctly. Not 100%. I think it's in Taurus. But again, Taurus, you know, earth energy. So again, that could that could do a lot with money and finances and comfort, right? Because Taurus is a sign is is you know has a lot to do with value and you know materialism. Not saying they're materialistic, but again, you know, they like to have their little comforts and their nice things, and it's a it puts a lot of focus on where we find value. So again, it may be that this opportunity presents something of value, whether it's you know, living in the place you want, having peace of mind, you know, creating this dream lifestyle that allows you to, you know, follow passions, have more time for hobbies, you know, something like that, wherever you place value. And again, that value could be money, you know what I mean? Like that, that's a, that's a really easy, obvious one, but it's going to require definitely action. But I think for a lot of you, a leap of faith looking at this card. And again, coming out with the surrender card, there may just you may just need to have some major trust in the universe. And it's also about, you know, things may not be in your full control. You know, in Aries, that's that's not a thing that comes very easily to you. You know, you guys are very assertive and are very conscious about making things happen the way you want, which is a beautiful thing. This may just not be a moment where you're the one at the steering wheel, right? And you can you might just kinda you just might have to make yourself okay with that. And that's fine. That is okay. Oh, 
Okay. Got one. I can do a little more. Oh, there we go. Oh, that, okay. That came quick. All right. Yes. Look, lots of so exciting. All right. So first card out. Keep flinging it all over the place. Star card. Love, love, love. So star card. Yes, it is the card of Aquarius, so it could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this is a card of hope, optimism, faith. Um, this is the guiding light. The star is the beacon that guides you to, you know, the manifestation, to the happy ending, to that opportunity, to that thing you want. This is a card about expecting and believing in miracles. This card always leads you to the best, in my opinion. Again, you think of the North Star. It's the guiding light. Look at that. Then next card out, Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, vision. Could be communication about something. This could someone, this could be someone coming forward with this new opportunity, telling you about this job op opening, telling you about this new direction, um, this chance. Oh, I want to say it's it's communication, and a big a big part of it is truth. So it's not like someone's trying to like blow smoke over your ears or or deceive you. If someone brings you an opportunity, it's because they really believe in it. They really think that this is a good step for you, no matter what it is. And then we have some more swords. So we have the Ten of Swords, not the most comfortable card. And then we also have the Knight of Swords. These together, I mean, you saw them. They came out literally like little buddies. They came out right on top of each other. Ten of Swords, Ten is always completions. So this, I think... Outside of just like the traditional meaning for this card, to me this feels like the ending of the old. This is a forced ending to a current way of life, perception, position, you know, whatever, however that manifests or, re or resonates to your story. You know, this is, this is you literally ending it, putting the final sword and just done. And again, this may be where that trust comes in. You're like, oh, okay, am I really... Now, am I really saying goodbye to this? Am I really ending this for something different? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And it's funny, I talk about putting in the final sword, and then it's like, here you go, someone gives you the last sword, and then it's up to you to like, okay, last one, done. Final. And then you get this Knight of Sword. Knight of Sword, fastest moving card in the entire court. This is where that action comes in. You lay it to rest, right? You hear about this opportunity, you're like, oh, you know what, I'm just going to trust it that this, whatever, wherever I'm at now, it's time for this to come to an end. This is time to go. And then there you are, leaping into the new. Taking that step, taking that action, making the commitment. And it doesn't have to be work. That, this is just the storyline I'm using in the reading. This could even be, you know relationship this could be with family this could be you committing to a person you know for some of you maybe you're in a long distance relationship and this is you moving to be with this person who you know again apply it to to your narrative to your story to your life take it as it resonates okay we had one card that ran away i'm going to i'm going to see if anything else jumps out before i go grab it nope oh, there we go Wanna, okay, I was like, mm, I know there's some more coming. You know what's coming? No? Okay. I feel like there's like something else trying to come out. There it is. I was like, no, I feel like we're not done. There's something else in there. Okay. I'm going to leave that one on the floor for a little bit. We're going to start with these guys. So strength card could be dealing with a Leo, maybe, possibly. Um, but to me, strength card is the card of will. Because again, we talked about surrendering, letting go of control. Does that mean that you're surrendering your will? No. You're surrendering to this new opportunity. And then this is this is how you make this your own, right? Then we've got, oh, oh, how fun are these? So you got two cards in reverse, King of Swords and Knight of Wands. So, evolution of this Knight of Swords. Here you have the King of Swords. And also Knight of Wands. These guys coming up in reverse. Interesting. So, King of Swords. This is 
you know, someone who stra he's, a, he's a very strategic, um, very analytical. You know, he's planning everything step everything step by step. There's a clearly laid out plan and regimen and protocol for the way we do things. Knight of Wands can be kind of an impulsive energy. This is fire energy, just like you, Aries. In reverse, can be a little impulsive, can be a little too quick, right? Knight of Wands in reverse, or Knight of Wands, <laughs> King of Swords in reverse. Um, also has that same kind of hasty, like instead of, instead of upright, where he's like practical, laying out the plan, thinking about the strategy, you know, so there may be, there may be an element of being very hasty. There may be an element of not maybe going through all the details, all the facts. And I say that because, you know, here we're talking about, yes, surrendering and calling quits and da 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 da, da all of that. I, you know, and I still feel like that's very, very true. To me, I think this is kind of speaking to your process of, you know, how this happens, how this ending comes about. You don't want to be hasty because this, like this Ten of Swords, this feels like a like done, like this feels heavy and final, whatever this thing is. So like, don't take it lightly. And yes, I am saying surrender, but that doesn't necessarily mean the first opening opens, you're like, this is the one, and then go for it, right? Make sure it's the one. I almost say that because I, I almost wonder if you get more than one, or, or there's an opportunity to, I hope you can still hear me, I'm, I'm going over to grab this card. Ah, oh, look at that. It's so funny, I just did the Pisces video right before you, they also got this same card also in reverse, and I, I made it right side up when I put it back. So it's funny that you get it in reverse again, as we're talking about these two reversals. So, the three to me, the three of wands when it comes up in reverse, because upright, this is about wishes being granted, your ship's coming in, you know, the, the, this, this is like the fulfillment card. In the reverse, I always read it as settling. It's settling. It's like you could have had the 10, but you know, a six showed up and you're like, ah, that's fine. I'll take the six. Don't settle. This coming out as we're talking about these two reversals, to me, literally speak to, you know, not selling. Make sure it's the right thing. Make sure, again, you cross the T's, you dot the I's. Uh, we are in retrograde, which again, isn't a time of, you know, traditionally it's not the greatest time to like sign the contract, make the decision, all of that things. You know, have we made decisions during retrograde? Yes, of course we have. You know, it just means you have to really focus in and make sure you've processed everything and understood everything, read the fine print, all of that good stuff. So to me, these energies coming in reverse, don't, to me, don't necessarily say this is how you're going to be or that someone's gonna be trying to be shady or something like that, because again, I told you, you know, truth and clarity is coming through. So how is it truthful if someone's trying to be shady? This to me is just coming tr through as just a heads up. This is like spirit giving you a little warning, like make sure you do your due diligence and read all the paperwork, fully understand the offer, fully understand what you're giving up. What does this mean to make this decision? What shifts have to happen and possibly not only for you you know you especially if it's if i use the example i had about like moving to a new territory or something you know how does that affect you know maybe if you live with your family or you know your close circle you know what what does this mean not saying that it's your responsibility to like care for everybody and make sure everyone's all right but how is this impact going to affect you you know being away from these people or you know moving to this town again like it's just don't take this moment lightly I think is the big thing like this is whatever action is being being called for for this new beginning like again this feels like this is there's this air about it being final like this is not something to take lightly like the door you're closing and the door you're about to open you don't get to go through again 
No, I'm not saying that to like scare you and be like, oh, then I'm not going through the new door. Like that's not what this is. But again, you may get multiple. So like when you walk out of this old door, like when you walk out of the old world into the pasture, you don't get to go back. Like you don't get to go back to where you just came from. So the door you're about to walk through, make sure it is the right one because you don't get to do this one again. So make sure you walk through the right door. So a lot of this may be having to rely on some gut instincts and really, again, checking in with your, I always, see, I always say na'al in Hawaiian. It's like that gut, it's, it's like you're that intuition, that gut feeling. That's just the best way I like, that's the best word I have for it. But it's like trusting your na'al, like that feeling inside of you. Like, even if like, you're like, oh, but I never thought I would, I would move to, you know, Florida, you know, I don't know, I'm making, making the place up. Like, I never thought I would move here, but this, like, I'm excited about this job. I think this opportunity is going to be great. I, I, you know, there's like things that pull me and draw me to this. It's just not what I expected. It's not what I had planned. That's okay. But the key is that you're being pulled to it. Because if you're not excited about it, you're not being pulled to it, that's this impulsive nature. You know what I mean? Because it, it doesn't have that, that drive, that passion, that spark. That's when you're like settling, right? I talked about that with the this reverse three of wands. You're like, ah, it's new, so ah, fine, let's do it. Like, no, like you, they, you need to have, there needs to be something calling to you. It needs to ignite something in you. And you're a fire sign, so that, that feeling, that passion, that motivation, that's easy for you to tap into. So I know you can relate to that. And I know when that opportunity comes, I know you'll feel it. Like you won't, like, Maybe now it feels funny and feels hazy and like, what the hell is he talking about? When it happens, I know that gut feeling will be very strong for you. Like, when it happens, you won't question it at all. Because it's probably happened to you before in your life where something came up and you're just like, oh, that's mine. You know what I mean? Like, I, that is mine. I know it. That's mine. You know, like, it's that feeling. Like, I want that. That's the feeling you need to have when you're ready to make that jump. If the door opens and it doesn't feel like that, that's not the door. Don't go through that door. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's okay if you're, like, hesitant or fearful, but excited by it. So don't let the, oh, my God, that's a big jump, scare you. But you need to, you need to be drawn to it. If, you, if you're missing that feeling, that's not the door. Okay. Last card for you. We're going to pull a little Hidden Worlds Oracle. Nope. Beautiful. What did we get? <laughs> oh, I think you are so funny, spirit. Look at how, this is such an ethereal looking card. I haven't seen this one yet. So you can kind of see there's this big old mountain and then this like, I almost want to say it's like a divine feminine. It's like this snow goddess. She's got her like hand, you know, out. And you think of her hand, like look at the position. It's like palm up. It's like offering, it's like this way, like here it is. And it's like, then she's like being blown, the snow's being like blown in this direction. Like again, it's that, it's that, here we go. It's that star card, that offer, that yes, go this way, this is yours, I'm giving it to you, love it. But you got mountain goddess, you know, so you can see that a little closer. High vibration, mindfulness, power of the mind. We got all these swords, right? Knight of swords, ace of swords, ten of swords, king of swords, tons of swords. So lots of planning, lots of thinking, a lot of perception, a lot of really analytical thinking for you in the month of November. But this this mountain goddess energy, ooh, I love it. I actually really like this for you. Again, this is, to me, especially with high vibration, this is about your awareness and, and being present and in the moment. Um, and also just kind of being... Oh my god, I feel like I'm getting so much off of this card. I'm like, where do I, where do I begin? It's like all over the place. Because it feels like it is speaking to just your, your, your actual presence and being in the moment. And fully kind of immersed in what's happening. But yet it's also about the stability and the grounding and the foundational aspects of the decision you're going to be making this month. Like this big old mountain 
yes, it's like, it's, it's serving as a point to show you the way, but at the same time, it's creating a foundation. It's creating the base. And I think that's where the mindfulness is. Because again, like I told you, this is a, whatever, whatever this course of action, whatever this decision is, like it's heavy. You, like you're, you're shaking some things up and you're creating a whole new start, right? Because like I said, you don't get to go through this door again. So you're leaving one foundation and starting a whole new one. It's weird because it's like, it's like light and heavy at the same time. Light in the sense that you're not staying here, like, you know, like you're following the breeze and, and being blown in this next direction. You're being guided, you know, to the next mountain peak. But heavy in the sense, because yes, you're leaving one foundation for another. You're creating a new one. Oh my God. So this is the most serious out of all the readings I've done so far. This one feels like, oh, I'm gonna need a break before I do Taurus now. But big, big, big opportunity for you. Huge. And again, you may get multiple. That's where you really need to like, again, read the fine print, go through all of that, make sure you're choosing the right one. But whatever you are working towards, whatever opportunity presents itself, whatever course of action you take this month, really is putting you, I was going to say a new trajectory, but it, it, it doesn't feel like you're making this huge shift. Like, it's not like, like, I don't want to say you're like, you're not like abandoning your family. You're not quitting your company or like quitting your field. You know, you're not like abandoning your master's degree or anything like that. It's not like you're making this huge, like 180 shift, but it, it's, it's a significant adjustment and a significant fresh kind of new start that really is going to put you in a place you've never been before in a great way and I think it's going to be so new and so unpredictable and so just different like that's where the surrender card comes in because it's just like it's just nothing it's nothing you expected but it's everything you wanted oh I'm gonna go might be what I title this video. That's a good one. Um, but yes, good stuff. And again, right in the center, this Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, communication. So good news coming up for you, Aries. Way to go. Just again, with this mountain, be present, be open, and just kind of trust this flow. And again, check in with that gut of yours that passion is going to be your compass this month. If you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, check in. That internal gut, that fire inside of you, that's your compass this month. If you like get to a point, you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, check in. Shut out the external, shut out what you know everyone else is saying you should do, check in. Where, where do you feel the most lit up? Where do you feel that fire? That's where you go. Mm. All right, Aries, I'm going to wrap it up there. Again, sending you love. If you have anything to share with me, let me know how this resonated, what, what's going on for your life. Feel free to share that down in the comments and hit me up. Um, you can also hit me up on Instagram and DM me at The Guiding Chariot. Uh, if you want to book a private session for me, um, all that info will be in the description box. Feel free to, to message me on Instagram because I'll see it instantly there. Um, and until then... Wishing you the best. Enjoy. If you like the video, thumbs up. Subscribe so you can join a little family and we can do this all again next month. Um, love readings will be coming out in a couple weeks. It's just exciting. Those are always exciting. Um, yeah. And have a great November. Enjoy all these new opportunities coming up and I will see you in your next video. Bye, Aries.